everybody, Trevor Spires here. Today, uh, I'm joined by John Gamble, and we're going to take a look at how you can optimize your resume when applying for cloud roles using ChatGPT. John, go ahead and introduce yourself to everybody. Hey, I'm John Gamble. How's it going? Uh, I'm a senior principal cloud architect. I've been in that role for around five years now, and uh, recently I've started helping folks who want to get into the cloud kind of help work on their resumes and, and make those uh, more aligned to the, the, what they're finding online in, in their job searches. Um, so today we're going to look at chat GPT and how it can help us, uh, accomplish that. So. Very cool. Very cool. I'm excited to, to take a look at it with you, John, and thanks for all the work that you do helping folks break into their, uh, those cloud careers. So, yeah, um, absolutely. I, I know whenever I'm applying for jobs, like one of the hardest things is like every job is different, has different keywords, different, um, things that, that it can be useful to the kind of embed in your resume. So I know you kind of have a demo for us along those lines. What are we going to take a look at here? I think that's, that's really important. I think, um, when you're applying for a job, you really need to focus on like what those top things are that that company cares about. Um, so what I've done is I've grabbed a, uh, a sample job description off of LinkedIn for a, an entry level associate position at Amazon. Actually, uh, it's a cloud support engineer role. That's where I started out, um, my gosh, like 12 years ago. So it's a role that's familiar to me and, uh, we'll, we'll see what it says. Um, so let me go ahead and paste that information in here. What we're going to ask is, uh, can you pull out the keywords that I can use on my resume from this following job posting? And then this is the posting we hit. Okay. And then let's see what it's got. And so right now, this is the, the, the model is looking at the, all the text you put in and really just picking out, not word for word, but what it, it thinks are important keywords from that resume that you could throw in there, huh? I, or from the yeah, job description. It, that's, that's it exactly. And then you can go through and you can kind of say, well, where does my experience personally align with some of these things, right? And then we know that the job role is this, so we can, we can toss that out. We may or may not have a bachelor's degree. We can probably toss that out. But if you have experience with the scripting language, you can put that in there. If you know, uh, 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 you know, Linux or Mac OS or anything like that, you can, you can add that in there. That'll be, um, interesting. You know, then, what, what I always like to do is in my resume, I always have a, I have a skills section that is just really just like a bulleted list of skills. And so this would be really useful even when I'm applying for jobs to just like kind of reword those or change them around to align with the, uh, the job description because a lot of people don't realize before a, a recruiter or a hiring manager ever looks at a resume it goes through some like uh filtration system right there's some automation yeah yeah that, that's what it is it's, it's not you're not you're not changing the things that you've done in the past what you're doing is you're using the phrases and the keywords that that company is looking for to describe your experience so maybe you helped uh you know with sales somewhere, or maybe you did some, some other customer facing thing, but, but this job description is looking for customer support experience. So you, that's what you label that experience as maybe, maybe you did, maybe you did some training at your last job and maybe you had to write some stuff down to help, help new hires or whatever. That's writing technical articles now, but that's the same, it's same, same. We're just, you know, calling we're, 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 we're keyword loading our uh, information to, to at least get a human on the phone and get a chance to tell our story. Right. So that's the whole, that's the whole thing. You don't want to lie on the resume. That's, that's, that's not going to work. No, what you do want no. to do is kind of tune it. So that way you get past that gate. It's a, it's a competitive world out there. You don't have to, you don't have to be dishonest, but you gotta, you want everything. Um, st you want to stack the deck in your favor as much as you can. Right. So I love little tricks like this. What I know, I know we don't, we maybe won't dig into all of it today, but what, what are some other things that you could see people using um, the same technique of like, get, help me with my resume and my job description using chat GPT? So there's a couple of things. What, what you want to do is, is if they require a cover letter, if they require a resume, you want to run that cover letter through um, chat GPT and say, Hey, what is, how, can you write me a second draft of my cover letter and just kind of see what it writes compared to what you've got. Can you, and, and then you might keyword that and say, Hey, can you write this through the lens of what, what I previously posted this job description that I just posted? And it will, it'll, it'll remember a couple of prompts previous, um, 
it's got like a 3000 or 5000 line remember uh, memory or something like that so you can say can you write me a, a cover letter we can we can try that now actually yeah go for it this is exciting john because i tell you what i really hate writing cover letters <laughs> It's like, I already I wrote my resume for you. <laughs> it's a numbers game, right? So, I mean, if right. you're going to apply to, to, to 10 or 15 or 20 jobs uh, and you want them all to be custom, this is a really good way to have some help uh, with that. Very cool. And it's got, it's, do your hiring manager. I'm, I'm excited to apply. And it's got a pretty good, um, you know, cover letter. It's like, I'm pursuing this, this degree. You know, maybe, maybe you are. That's awesome. Um, it talks about a previous position. I like that it just kind of makes stuff up. But you can kind of see the flow of what, like, what this, what this is. Like, you know, why, why are you applying? What, what are you, what are you currently learning that you that you can bring to the table? And what's your experience like? That can be, that can be tuned. So if you've got twenty or thirty of these that you've got to send out. You can say, okay, I've got to um, kind of uh, tune this for this particular employer or this particular uh, uh, situation. I think I think it's pretty neat. It is neat, and I will save a lot of time. And, you, and the truth is, like, I mean, when you when you're trying to get your first job, you you, you hit the nail on the head. It really it really is a numbers game. I I, I hate that that's yeah. that's what it is, but if you can use a tool like this and. 2x the amount of jobs that you are able to apply to well i mean that's 2x the opportunities to get somebody on the phone with you um so you can tell your story right and you have a you have a lot more control once you get a human being on the phone um yeah. so i love these tips thank you for sharing them, john anything else you want to share john about your community and what you're doing down there in uh, in texas sure so we're building a community in, in amarillo texas uh called the yellow cloud hub it's an innovation outpost um, and it's a, it's a local cloud hub to, to get folks together that are interested and curious about cloud uh, and the various levels of experience. Um, we have a uh, Facebook you can go to. Uh, it's facebook.com slash yellow cloud hub and a link tree, uh, link tree slash yellow cloud hub. Check it out. Uh, feel free to join the community or, uh, or, or send us a, a note. We'd appreciate it. Very cool. Very cool. Yeah, I've seen you posting some great stuff about it on LinkedIn. Also, go ahead and give John a follow on LinkedIn if you want to see more updates about his community there. Absolutely. Um, and, and if this helped you, let us know in the comments uh, and, uh, and, and let us know if you'd like to see any other things. Thanks, John. All right. Thank you.